Good morning, welcome from the trail. Day four, baby. We are section seven right now. That's right. And we're gonna finish it out today. We got a big day today. This is our campsite. Uh, we're five and a half, 5.8 miles in on section seven. We're 10,500 feet. Uh, so we came up from Breckenridge yesterday, up through here. It's a pretty nice, there's about six or seven little campgrounds around here which are nice. Um, I like the log, you know, logs are just nice to have. Uh, so we're gonna do, what, a mile and a half. To breakfast. To breakfast, which will be 600 feet. And then from there we have 2,000 feet, a little less than 2,000 feet. Uh, so it's a 2,500 foot day mm -hmm. to get to the peak, to cross over to Copper. We're going to resupply a little bit, maybe get some real food. That's going to be a first for me. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, it'll be. Whoa. That thing is moving. Yeah. Hey, how's that for your VR experience? <laughs> <laughs> it'll be uh, fun to go to a resupply town and get some food. And that's what people who do the whole thing do. So, yeah. Yeah, we lost a lot of people yesterday to Frisco and Breckenridge. Yeah. Uh, and they'll probably start up again. I don't know, today or tomorrow. The yeah. rain wasn't so bad last night for us here. I don't think it rained. And yeah, a little bit. Okay. Uh, I did get out to the tent in the middle of the night. Uh, the stars were beautiful. Nice. Uh, I think Saturn is next to the moon and it's a super moon. I think the last night tonight will be a super moon. Okay. I, uh, I thought it was pretty funny when we got up here, there was a Jeep parked in the campground. I'm thinking, how the hell did they get a, a jeep up this high and i mean there must be a road but then a second jeep came and then the other thing that happened was uh these three uh trail workers were hiking down the trail because they were sent to go get food for the for the crew so they got to climb all the way down the mountain they were the low young ones on the totem pole that's right <laughs> and uh so they did that Empty backpacks down, full backpacks up. Yep. So there's a, a crew working on the Colorado Trail right now to smooth out a certain section around here uh, for the bikers, I guess. Up top. Yeah, we're going to have some great film because we're going to be above the tree line for most, most of the day. I think we have something like two or three miles uh, above 12,000 feet. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, probably six above tree lines. So that's why we didn't cross, you know, we're doing it early in the morning uh, so we can get up and across before any of the, the weather comes. Yeah. And then we got to go down 3,000 feet to copper, so that'll be exciting. 2,500 up, 3,000 down, and then we have another 1,000 up to get to the campsite. That's what we'll do today. It's a big day today. That um, food will help. Yes, real food will help. Yeah, I'm, I catch bugs. Oh, that was a mosquito? Yeah. Ugh. I got it off you. Okay. If it were a fly, I would have let it be. For those of you who feel for mosquitoes, I'm sorry. No, nah, uh, nah. right. Those of you who feel for mosquitoes, come on. <laughs> Find a new thing to feel for. Yeah, that's true. All right, so we are off for today. All right, let's do this thing. Day four? Day four, baby. All right. Yo. Welcome. Look, Look around. This. This is a pretty good 360 opportunity. We're at 11,600 feet. That's uh, the reservoir between Breckenridge and Frisco down there. It's Breck's behind here. We're gonna go up on the green patch behind us. Remember, this is section seven of the Colorado Trail. I love moraine fields. I just love moraine fields. And uh, you know, my energy level picked up. Ryan's like, what the hell's wrong with you, man? <laughs> Look at the shadow. Oh, coming and down we've here. got our little friends too. Oh, our little friend is back. Yeah. They're not they're not rats, but <laughs> they're not but they're pretty either. close. They're just they're like shrews. Are they shrews? Rock mountain shrews? We'll have to look this up because I forgot what they are. Well, they're great because I've never seen them before. Um, we've got uh, the crew working on the, the trail, smoothing it out for the bikers. Hey, what are you doing? 
Yeah, look at him. You are a curious little nut. Oh, he wants to eat everything. That's why we have a critter bag. Yeah. Because those are the that's critters. That's a critter. Those are the critters. That's a goddamn critter. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, the crew's over there. They're pounding rocks and hauling boulders. You are so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny. Wow, look at this. This what a great patch this is. Oh, here comes a biker coming down. There's that horn. Well, how about I take him a little bit out? What do you mean? Just uh, climb the rocks a little bit. Okay. So that horn might be the, uh, that might be the little marmot noise. The dog's like, what the fuck? Oh, part of my language. Is it a bird? No, I think that's the murmur noise. It's a powerful squeak. Yeah. It's not a marmot, it's the other animal that makes the more shrilly noise. Wow. Oh, they're all over the place. Oh, they're yeah. I think they're gonna gang up on us. Yeah, they're they're plotting for sure. They are plotting. Alright, anything else for the video? Check out the bike around the path. Squeak! 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 Hey! Guys, hey! Down here, down here. What's up? There's two hikers right here. Ah, cool. Ah, oh, nice big stuff. Yeah! Alright. Hello. Welcome back. We've crossed the uh, first saddle here. Uh, we're at uh, 11 8 in terms of altitude. That's feet, not meters. <laughs> that nice. must be Highway 70 down there. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah, that seems about right. We're on a ridge. Oh, but you can see where we're going, where those other hikers are in front of us. What a beautiful bowl here. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to round the bend up there. We'll have to get some more. All right, I'll show you the next view. And we're back. We are at the top of the trail here, 12,400 and something feet. That's peak five. And uh, peak six is over in front of us, which is the top of the Breckenridge Ski Resort. You can see, uh, uh, what is that thing called? Chairlift. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Brain doesn't work as well at 12.5. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Breckenridge down there. And the entire Breck Ski Resort. We're going to pop over to the other side here in about 30 seconds and get a look at Copperhead. Copper Mountain. Copperhead's a snake. Yeah, Copperhead's a snake. Oh, that's a beautiful ski resort. Look at that. And then straight ahead is the highway we took into Leadville. <laughs> and there's 70. So I was wrong before that. that was, oh. Uh, the Breck to Frisco highway that I thought was 70. This is 70. Yeah. And we're going down to copper. Wow, we're going down to the base. That's 3,000 That's copper? Feet. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's 3, awesome. 3,000 feet down there, and then we'll come back up and then go on over to Leadville. Awesome. Wow. Give me a pound. Let's that do this is, thing. That is incredible. Let's keep going for a little bit. I want a picture. Uh, okay.
This is for our VR fans. If you got goggles, download a good version because uh, the details here are pretty spectacular. That's a strong sun. You're a strong sun. Hey! Ew. Real nice. So it's just before noon. And we are expecting rain again, so we got a period of time. This is the 10 mile range. Huh? You can take it. Here's a little bit more beauty from the mountain. My dad's up ahead, he was running. Alright, see you at Copper Mountain.